in this uh, segment i have drawn two pedigrees rather there are two questions and now uh, previously what we have seen was using the question we were trying to plot the pedigree now we are trying to conclude something after just looking at these pedigrees so there are two questions let us take this one now what is uh, understood from this that the man or the father has the disease and one daughter and one son they are getting the disease we have to pick out of these four options whether it is an autosomal dominant recessive whether it is sex chromosomal dominant and recessive so for out of four what comes to our mind and what are those clues on the basis of which we'll be able to identify whether it is an autosomal or sex chromosomal so let us first see whether it is an autosomal disorder or not dominant the first thing that we have to remember whenever we are interpreting pedigrees is or rather two points we need to remember number one if a trait is seen in all generations then there is a chance that it is a dominant trait here the parent generation is showing it in the first one son is not showing it but two children are showing it the children of this daughter they are not showing it so the and here also the children of this son they are not showing the disease that means the chance is that it is not a dominant disorder because dominant disorder would be shown in all generations so one thing is clear that this is not a dominant disorder now let us see whether it is sex linked if it is sex linked that means the gene is present on x chromosome if we say that it is sex linked if it appears to us at the first glance if father is having that disease say i am writing it which i am going to erase then the disease is on the x chromosome of the father and y chromosome is not having any uh, gene for that what is the son receiving from the father is y and if the son is getting that disease for which y is not bringing that gene that means it cannot be sex linked so the second clue is if the gene is with the father and if it is going to son and daughters both then it cannot be sex linked because what is given by the father to the daughter is x and what is given by the father to the son is y so if that is the situation what has the son received y from the father what has the girl received x from the father this can be still understood that here the mother is a carrier probably but nothing is mentioned so we will take it this female as normal so if the son gets y from father and a normal x from the mother then this child is going to be normal but the situation is that the child is showing the disease so it cannot be sex linked so our easiest conclusion is that it is a recessive disorder and it is not sex linked so it is going to be an autosomal recessive disorder so to me this answer appears more appropriate we'll cross check let us take a disorder which is autosomal recessive say uh, sickle cell anemia so here and on any other disorder here the individual is showing the trait so we are taking it as recessive so this is the recessive condition female is not showing anything so we assume that she is homozygous dominant or she could be a carrier also here she could be a carrier also now what is the situation one small a from the father and one small a from the mother has come here and that is how this girl is showing the disease the boy is showing the disease that means he has received small a from father and small a from mother that means mother is giving one small a so she cannot be homozygous dominant she has to be heterozygous what about this son this son has received small a from the father but capital a or dominant gene from the mother and that is why the child this son is not showing the disease now this man has married a female and they have two children 
no representation or no indication of disease. So here, this individual could be heterozygous also or homozygous also. What are these two, two children going to receive? They are definitely going to receive one small a from the father because this is what the father has. What is going to come from the mother because of them not showing the disease? An indication is that they definitely have one dominant. And if that dominant is coming from the mother, she has at least one capital A. And that is why we have two possibilities here for this female. Let us talk about this. The man is not showing any trait. So again, let us take both the situations. The man can be homozygous dominant or heterozygous. Both the children are not showing the trait, but what are they going to receive from the mother? They definitely have received the recessive gene from the mother. And as they are not showing the trait, they have received one dominant from the father. Now, another interesting thing. This girl, when she marries, nothing is shown here, but her two children, both of them have disease. So definitely their genotype is recessive. And that small a that is recessive, one they have obtained from or received from the mother, from the a father, other a is going to come. That means father has one recessive gene. And father is not showing the trait, that means father is going to have one homo, uh, sorry, dominant gene. So now how did these two children get this? One small a from the mother and one small a from the father. How did this female get that small a? Because of her mother. Because her mother had only two recessive genes. So she is obviously going to get one recessive. So this female is a carrier. So from this interpretation or from this uh, pedigree, what is prominent is this pedigree represents a typical autosomal recessive gene inheritance. Again, two points on the basis of which we conclude. One, if it is a dominant gene, then the gene expresses in all generations, which is not the case here. So one uh, option is overruled, that it is not a dominant gene. Now we have to conclude whether it is sex-linked or autosomal. If it is sex-linked in the father, then affected child is only going to be daughter. It cannot be the son. So, in this case, what we conclude is it is an autosomal disease and it is a recessive disorder. Now, let us come to the second pedigree here. Parents not showing the trait. Two sons are showing the trait here. One daughter not showing the trait and one son not showing the trait. This daughter, when she marries a normal man because the trait is not here, one son and one daughter, they are also showing the trait. So again, what can we conclude from this? Does it look like a dominant inheritance? As we said, if it is dominant, it should be shown in all general. Parents don't show it. So obviously, it cannot be dominant. If it was dominant, they would have shown this disorder or that condition. So from here, again, we have overruled one thing that it is not a dominant uh, inheritance or gene. Is it sex chromosomal? As we said, if the affected individuals can, are males as well as females, then it cannot be sex chromosomal. So out of four diseases which are given to us, let us first see which uh, these diseases are. Hemophilia is a recessive sex chromosomal disorder. Color blindness is again recessive sex chromosomal disorder. Phenylketonuria is a recessive autosomal disorder and hypertrichosis which means that it is uh, the hypertrichosis basically means that there are hair on pinna and that is y linked. This condition is on y chromosome and if it was on y chromosome it is only male who is going to show this condition. So out of these the recessive autosomal disease is only one, that is phenylketonuria. So this pedigree represents 
an autosomal disorder and it is a recessive disorder. So out of the diseases given, first thing we have to see which type of disease is this um, disease is, whether it is recessive or dominant, sex chromosomal or autosomal. And then from the pedigree, we have to pick. So in this case, this pedigree looks like inheritance of a disease that is phenylketonuria, which is a recessive autosomal disorder. So whenever we interpret pedigree, there are certain clues which we have to keep in mind. That if it is dominant, it is going to be in all the generations. If it is X-linked and the father has it, then it is going to go from father only to the daughters. If affected individuals are equal males and females, then normally it is an autosomal disease. So these are certain clues which help us